I absolutely stopped. I was stopped. How can a traffic camera give you a ticket for stopping at a red light? It's happening locally, and outraged drivers show us how. Bogus red light violations, and outraged driver speaks out tonight at 11. It's a snapshot that nobody wants to pose for, especially because it comes with a fine. Our Ken Molestini explains why stopping at some intersections in our area is not enough to avoid what some call the red light trap. Route 450 at Prince's Garden Parkway in Prince George's County. It's a busy intersection and home to one of 21 county-run red light cameras. It's watching your every move, hoping to catch red light runners in the act. I saw the flash behind me. And uh, a couple weeks later, I got a ticket in the mail. Nolan Church was busted, but according to him, he didn't do anything wrong. I absolutely stopped. I was stopped. The snapshot taken by the camera shows he stopped between a crosswalk and a white line. That white line is known as a stop bar. And according to Prince George's County Police, that's where he should have come to a halt. He's clearly over the line. So Church was cited for running the light, even though he stopped before the crosswalk where the traffic signals hang. AAA officials say that isn't a justified ticket because the crosswalk should be the stopping point. What the municipality did was even to expand the crosswalk to entrap and ensnare people. According to AAA, this area right here is the crosswalk. They claim the loophole that Prince George's County is using incorporates all this area up to that white line where the car is stopped as a crosswalk. According to them, that's illegal. Who's breaking the law here? It is the municipality. County police defend the citation and their method, saying the design of the intersection serves a specific purpose. The state has built this road with a, with a, uh, a mill down median to allow uh, emergency vehicles through this opening in the median strip. Major Liberati says the white line prevents motorists from blocking the right of way for emergency vehicles. Most of these violations occur because they're either distracted or they're um, going too fast. But this upset motorist isn't buying that, and he hopes to contest the ticket and have law enforcement slam their brakes on a practice he claims isn't fair. The fine's only $75. I could just pay it, but, you know, I think it's wrong. And, you know, I want to fight it just on, uh, just on general principle. Ken Molestina, 9 News Now. Turns out over the last year, the camera in question has caught close to 2,600 violators. And at 75 bucks a pop, that comes out to more than $16,000 a month in fines. Wow.